Hey guys, welcome back. I am here with a haul from Vintage Chic Sense from the June 2017 Fitzgeralds and Flappers restock. This was a pretty big one for me. This is pretty pretty big order here, so I'm gonna try to get through it as quickly as I can. I've got five bags, a loaf, two samples, and a sampler. So we will try to move through it as quickly as possible. I wanted to talk, there's a new product here and and then something that's very near and dear to my heart, but I'm gonna try not to take all night talking about it. So really briefly, this restock was supposed to take place on the 13th, which was a Tuesday, and I believe it was like one o'clock central time or two, two, three, it was in the afternoon central time and the website crashed. Basically what it ended up happening is a lot of people couldn't get on the website at all. Other people were able to place orders, myself included, but the website didn't charge for shipping. It was, it was a hot mess. I'm not sure what happened, but Kirby ended up having to cancel all the orders that had gone through, reset the inventory, and push the restock back for until the 16th, which was Friday. And it was early in the morning. It was, I think, 9 central time. or Yeah, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning for me. It was, it was first thing in the morning. And like for me, I was really stressed out because I had gotten an order in and it was everything I wanted. And I was hoping I'd be able to get that same order in. And I did and I ended up ordering more. So um, a, little, a little bit chaotic, restock. But, you know, technology is not infallible. Vendors are human. It, these things happen. They absolutely happen to everybody at some point in time. So, you know, it just is what it is. And Kirby and the whole Vintage Chic Sense team were great. They handled it really, really well. I'm sure it was extremely stressful on their end. And it all it all turned out fine, just fine in the end. So that's all I'm going to talk about, about the restock in particular. But we'll get into it. I did end up placing two orders. I got one order in like right when she opened with all of the stuff that was like super important. And then I went back in, I don't know if it was the, I think it was like five hours later. I was gonna say the next day, but it wasn't. It was like five or six hours later, I went back in and bought a couple more items that I had been kind of eyeing. So I do have two samples because I had two orders, but here is the business card as always. It's got Kirby Welsh, the owner, her, her email, the website, and the Facebook group. So I didn't look at scent notes for everything. A lot of it I have memorized. Some of it I do not. So I'm going to muddle through a couple of these things probably. So bear with me. So this first, first um, sample is Somebody to Love, which is Blueberry Cobbler Crunch. I remember that. And this is a really, really, really nice blueberry bakery scent, which I enjoy. Blueberry bakery, blueberry bakery very, very much in the fall. So I will either be melting this or I will be sending this to my friend Sarah, who absolutely, absolutely loves blueberry bakery. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm gonna do with this sample, but it does smell really, really good. If I do melt it, it will definitely be in the fall because I like blueberry bakery in the fall. Next sample here is Grand Ole Opry. I believe this one is strawberry watermelon cake. This is a no for me. Absolutely a no for me right off the bat. As much as I love strawberry, I can't get past the watermelon in this. And so I will be sending this one off to a friend. However, it smells really good. Like if, if I could get past the watermelon, we would be fine. And actually, Ironically, one of the bags that I ordered has a watermelon note in it, but it's it's totally different, and we'll get to that. But yeah, this one is a no for me, but that is okay, because somebody's going to love it. And then on to what I actually ordered. I'm going to start here. So I got a bag of Blossom Squares in the Fitzgeralds. This was a new scent. This is a Seabreeze cocktail, which is cranberry and grapefruit juice and I love drinking sea breeze cocktails so I thought that maybe 
I would love smelling a sea breeze cocktail, and I was right. These sat around on the site for a really long time, and I don't know if it's the cranberry or grapefruit that's off-putting to like that mass appeal type of customer. And I mean, I know there were plenty of people that grabbed it and ultimately it did sell out and everything, but this one took a really long time to sell out. And I'm not really sure why, because it's super good, super, super good. I mean, you really get every single note. You get the grapefruit, you get the cranberry. It's it's a really, really nice scent. And this is one that I could easily melt year round. It's not fizzy at all. Not fizzy at all. It's just a really nice fruity blend. Mm, I like it. I like it a lot. This was on my hard and fast wish list. The next item is Flapper Girl, and this is an apple teeny scent. This is another one that sat on the website for a really long time, and I was actually tempted to go back in and get more of it because this is a scent that both Little J and I are crazy about. We love this apple teeny scent, but I ultimately only ended up just getting the one. I decided not to go back in for more bags. I'm sure she'll pour it again. This is a classic Vintage Chic Scents scent though. This was, this was, I wanna say one of her originals. And this is the new product. This is Chantilly Shatter, which basically looks like lace and it's sprinkled with glitter. It reminds me very, very much of Kirby's doilies that she always used to give out. She gave out doilies with every single order. She hasn't done that in quite some time, although on the invoice that you get, there is a sticker that um, is a doily, which is super cute. But this reminds me very, very much of like a doily. And I really love this new product. It's, it's brittle, so you like break it off to size. And there's different sized pieces here in the bag. So here's like, a little one I'd probably use two of those whereas this bigger one I probably would break in half or cut in half but that's basically what it is and I think I think the way that they make it is they pour it onto a big tray and then just break it once it's once it's dry but I really 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 like the the chantilly shatter it's very very pretty This next thing right here is a unicorn loaf in Bluebird Cafe. So as you guys know by now, the unicorn loaves, they're not decorated. They don't have any embeds or any like little special designs other than they usually have glitter. They are single scent loaves that are poured at a high volume. So they're really popular scents that sell out fairly quickly at a high volume and I have a couple of Bluebird Cafe is one that I've I have only had a couple of ever I've had like a rose here and there I had a snowflake that my friend picked up from the open house for me last year so just a couple little pieces of it here and there but I've never actually bought it in like a big amount so I wanted to grab this. Now this was not on my original order that I had placed on Tuesday, the order that got canceled. This was not on that original order. Something else was on the original order and I ended up swapping out that something else for this when she reopened on Friday. And then I ended up being able to go back in and get what was on the original order anyway, the original Tuesday order anyway. So I ended up with both of them. But this is a really, really good fresh picked strawberry. Super, super popular vintage chic scents scent. Like it, it's in her top 10 when she did the, the favorites back in January or whatnot. It was part of that. So Bluebird Cafe, super popular.
Okay, and then the next one here is Old Sport. This is another new scent. This is the item that was on my original, original order on Tuesday, only it wasn't a four pack. And I ended up removing it from my list when I went in on Friday and got the Bluebird Cafe Loaf instead. So this is part of my second order that I placed hours later because it was still available and it was kind of bothering me that I hadn't gotten it. So I got the Deluxe Blossom Bag in Old Sport. This is coconut agave or blue, blue agave and fresh cut grass. So super fresh scent, kind of manly. It is, it's really, really, really nice. And I'm not going to dump these, I don't think, on this new mandala because I don't wanna make a huge mess, but I will show. I've got a gray rose here. A blue rose. Got one of each of the big medallions. Oh, I've got another, another gray rose. So these roses are good for three melts each, at least in my house. The big medallions are good for two. And then the regular medallions, I have four of them, two of each color. These ones, I just melt a whole one in my house. And then the last thing, which I would consider a bedroom melt or a car melt, this little, this little guy right here. Or in a bathroom, you know, smaller room. But this smells really good. It's got a really striking fresh coconut scent. It's that same striking fresh coconut scent that is in the Winged Mermaid, which was one of the customer creation scents from earlier this year. And then you really get the Blue Agave. I really like that. And the Fresh Cut Grass. This is a really, really nice fresh scent. And I remember I had gotten one of Kirby's Fresh Cut Grass scents in a sample earlier this year. And I thought to my, you know, I said, I might have even said in the video, you know, why didn't I, why have I not gotten her fresh cut grass scents before? So I really wanted to get one when it was available, so I decided to just go ahead and go with this one. Okay, this next one over here sold out really quickly. This is the Warren's Visit Cookie Monster. And Cookie Monster is one of the Sesame Street blends obviously from early this year and it is sugar cookie dough sugar cookies buttercream frosting and sugar milk i think and then the warrens is marshmallow cinnamon glazed donuts and cider lane so it is this is going to be like a fall gourmand bakery scent and that is what I wanted. I wanted to get one that was poured early in the summer so I can enjoy it in the fall, you know, towards towards the end of fall and through the winter. So that's what that's what I wanted was I wanted to get a fall blend. So I remember looking over the restock list like did she pour anything fallish because last year in June she did pour like one fall blend and I had gotten it. So I was like kind of looking through the scent list, like did she pour anything fallish that I would like? And this was the one that I thought that I would like the most. So I did grab this. It did sell out super fast. I think it was one of the first items to go. Cookie Monster has been insanely popular this year. I think it's been poured in some format every single month. I haven't had it other than one rose that my friend Sarah gave me. I haven't had it and I haven't melted it yet. But on cold it smells amazing. So I thought that I would love this blend because I love the Warrens and I do. This blend is amazing. This is, to my nose on cold right now, this is more Warrens than Cookie Monster. But I smell both of them. So I've got a 
blue rose. I've got this tan rose. I've got one of each color of the big medallions. And then I have six of the regular size medallions, so three of each color of the regular medallions. And then the one, the one mini. But as I said before, I smell more Warrens in this than Cookie Monster. To me, this smells like a sweeter Warrens, which is totally fine because the Warrens is my favorite fall blend that Kirby makes. I love that scent so much. So this smells like a sweeter Warrens to me. I adore this blend and I'm so glad that I got it. I'm so glad that I thought to myself, what's a fall scent that she may have poured in June? and that I decided to go ahead and get this because it's fantastic, so, so good. And then this was the other bag that I went back for when I did my second order like five hours later. This is an Affair to Remember Cinderella's Gown and California Dreamin' and Affair to Remember is has watermelon in it. It's watermelon and cotton candy. Cinderella's gown is honeydew, cotton candy, and vanilla bean Noel, maybe. And then California Dreamin' is mango sorbet. So this is all of that in there together. What made me go in for this is there is a blend that was like Art Deco Cinderella's gown that I had about a year ago or more recently, but I got it about a year ago. And I'm down to like one piece of it. And Art Deco also has watermelon, and I remember the Cinderella's gown overpowering it. And it just made it taste, or taste, mm-hmm, Liz. It just made it smell so good, absolutely heavenly. Oh, it's Art Deco Cinderella's gown Jackie O. That's the blend. And it's so heavenly, and I could melt it year round it's good in any room but i absolutely love it in my bedroom and i'm down to one piece so i wanted to get a blend that i thought would be similar to that so that's what made me go in for this one i apologize for the mess back there oh my gosh it's so good it is so good so we've got a pink rose, we've got another pink rose, we've got, here I'm just going to move this camera down, we've got a like creamy yellow rose. I've got one of each of these big medallions. Two of each color of the regular medallions. And then the mini. This smells really good, and I, I was spot on. I cannot pick the watermelon out of this at all. This is, first and foremost, I smell Cinderella's gown, first and foremost. And I think it's because both of the melon scents had cotton candy, so there's a lot of like sweetness in this bag. There's a lot of cotton candy going on in this bag. 
and fruit. So that, I mean, that's what it smells like to me is fruity cotton candy. But it's absolutely beautiful scent. I'm really, really loving the melon and cotton candy blends lately. So I was, I was, my instincts were right on this one. My instincts were right and I'm super happy about it. Last but not least, I want to talk about the Midway Treats Sampler. So the Midway Treats Sampler is something that I collaborated with Kirby on. And when I say collaborated, I didn't obviously go to her warehouse in Missouri and help her make stuff by any means. It was definitely a long distance collaboration. What had happened, and I explained this in the giveaway video, but after my Midway Treats sent won in the customer creations create a scent contest Kirby had gotten a hold of me as she was pouring it before I'd even gotten a chance to smell it and said you know your scent is really good for blending midway treats is really good for blending she said did you make did you intend it that way and I said no and honestly the reason that I made midway treats was because I I really wanted to <laughs> I wanted to smell vintage chic scents, cotton can or saltwater taffy. That's the reason why, because I had been blending like crazy from all of these vendors, saltwater taffy and cotton candy, and I wanted to smell vintage chic scents. And I know that she has a couple of scents that have like a taffy note. Like I think Atlantic City is like strawberry peach taffy. But I, I really wanted like an authentic salt water taffy scent. And that's the reason that I that's the reason I came up with Midway Treats is I wanted I wanted a vintage chic scents salt water taffy scent because vintage chic scents is my favorite vendor and I wanted to have that scent from her. So I blended salt water taffy and cotton candy when I submitted my idea. And then I decided to add marshmallow to it specifically from Kirby because her marshmallow is so beautiful. She has probably the best marshmallow out of any vendor. So I wanted to add that in there to just make it extra sweet. Well, she had gotten a hold of me after it won while she was pouring it. And she said, you know, your scent is really, really good for blending. Did you intend it that way? And I said, no. However, I've been thinking, you know, after I get mine, I want to blend it with this, 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 and this. And she said, you know, I was thinking maybe we could do a quartet, which is when she does like four, four roses. She says, I was thinking maybe we could do a quartet and I want to blend it with this. And I was saying, well, I want to blend it with this and this is what I'm going to try. And what had ended up happening is a couple weeks later, maybe even like a month later, she got a hold of me and she was like, we're going to do a whole sampler. And I said, okay, here's what I've blended it with. I've blended it with this, this, and this. There were like four or five different scents that I personally had blended it with just because it was something that I wanted to try. And so I bounced the ideas off of her and she had said, okay, thanks for the input. And then came out with the sampler with all of these scents. So some of them are coming directly from ones that I had told her I wanted to blend and some that I tested myself, and then some of them are ones that she came up with that ended up surprising me when I saw, you know, the finished product, what the different scents were. So it really was kind of a labor of love for me. I'm really happy and proud and excited that I got to do it and got to be so closely involved, even though it's long distance and everything, with my favorite vendor. So. Um, Kirby did gift me a Midway Treat sampler, which was super, super nice, and I wasn't expecting it at all. So that is this one. I've kept it absolutely pristine. I'm going to show how it presents without any, you know, untying the ribbon or anything like that. Now, my oldest daughter absolutely loves my scent. She's my biggest cheerleader, and she absolutely loves my scent, and she's been kind of going into my midway treat stash 
while I'm curing it and not really melting it, she's going into it and melting it in her bedroom. So I'm thankful that I have this to give to her because like I said, she's, she's my biggest cheerleader in life and she loves my scent. So the sampler that Kirby gifted me, I'm gonna give it to my daughter and she will have plenty of midway treats to tide her over for a while. So I'm gonna just put this one away. I do have the other one dismantled so I can go over the scents with you guys. I did that ahead of time so it would be quieter. So let me move them over. Now there are 10 scents in this. And we will start with Midway Treats if I can find it. So Midway Treats, this is Cotton Candy, Frosting, Saltwater Taffy, and Marshmallow. And I've gone over this one. So it's just a really, really nice blend of the three scents. It's sweet. It's It does melt really, it throws really strong. My daughter actually melted one like the day that I got the original bag of Midway Treats. She melted it. And... I had forgotten that I let her have a coin and went in her room like maybe two, two and a half hours later and it was super duper strong. Like I was shocked at how strong it was being that it was that new. But I absolutely love this scent. You really get a good mix of the saltwater taffy, cotton candy and marshmallow. So now I'll go into the blends. So this first one here is Blueberry Treats. This is Midway Treats and Blueberry. This was one that I wanted to blend it with, but I didn't have any blueberry, like just plain blueberry to test it myself. But it did end up making the final cut. It was one that I had talked to Kirby about, like I think this would be good with blueberry. Mm, it is really good. The blueberry really stands out. It makes it like an extra fruity, sweet, saltwater taffy scent. Mm, it's really good. It's really, really good. It blends really, really well with Midway Treats. I'm kind of surprised because we were just bouncing ideas off of each other. And Kirby knows her stuff. Don't get me wrong. She has amazing, amazing blends. But this one is one that ended up shocking me when I smelled it. And it like actually is one of the better ones out of the sampler, I think. Then we have Drive-In Treats. This one I think is a favorite because it also made it into four packs all by itself. And this is another one that has watermelon in it. And this is a blend of Midway Treats and I think it's called at the drive-in or maybe just the drive-in and I think the drive-in is watermelon blue raspberry icy oh my gosh this is actually really good and like I said I'm not a watermelon person but that blue raspberry icy is really in here I mean this to me is almost like a almost like a carnival scent like without the caramel apple but almost like a a circus concessions type of scent. It's really nice. I really like this one. And I see why she poured it in in four packs as well. Then we have Midway Peach. This is Midway Treats and Juicy Peach. I'm also not a big peach person, but in this blend, I'm liking it because the peach is not overpowering. It's toned down, especially by that cotton candy and marshmallow. It's really toned down. It's brought down to a level of bearability for me, but you can still smell the peach. That is a really nice one as well. And then Bluebird Treats. So when Kirby first got a hold of me, this was the first thing she wanted to blend it with. She said, I wanna blend it with 
you know, Bluebird Cafe, but I always want to blend everything with Bluebird Cafe. And I said, well, why wouldn't you? Everything's better with Bluebird Cafe. And that's how it actually started, was she was like, I want to blend it with this. What else would it go well with? So, of course, this one was going to make the final cut. This was one that she and I both tested, and it's really good. It's like an extra sweet strawberry saltwater taffy cotton candy marshmallow blend. It's really, really well done. And I still stand by everything's better with Bluebird Cafe. It really is. This is an excellent scent. And then we have Mayfair Treats. And this one, I can't remember what Mayfair is. And I can't believe I don't know the scent notes for this. But I'm pretty sure Mayfair is the one that smells to me like a creamsicle. Yeah. Mayfair is the one that smells like a creamsicle. So I don't know what the actual scent notes are. But that's what it comes off as like a vanilla ice cream with like an orange, like an orange creamsicle, and then blended with Midway Treats. And it is really good. It is really good. I'm surprised at how much I like this. And I think if, I, if my guess is correct, I think this is gonna be my daughter's favorite out of the entire sampler because she loves anything creamsicle and she loves Kirby's Mayfair absolutely loves that blend so I think if I if I'm right I think this is gonna be her favorite out of the entire sampler and then we have treats of many colors this is midway treats and strawberry acai candy sticks this is just a really sweet candy scent. Like when I think of candy, this this fits the bill. I mean, this is literally like walking into a candy store and you smell like all different candies mingling together. You know, you've got saltwater taffy, you've got cotton candy, you've got strawberry candy, all of that mingling together. That is exactly what this one smells like. This one's fantastic. I would have never thought of this one. This is 100% Kirby. It would never have been in the sampler because it's not one that I would have thought to blend at all, at all. And then Jackie O's Midway Treats. This one was one that was kind of a no-brainer. This was another one that both she and I tested. So this is Midway Treats along with Vanilla Bean Noel and Birthday Cake. And so this one is just an extra sweet blending scent, really, is what this is. It's like an extra sweet version of Midway Treats. Take Midway Treats, kick it up a couple notches, sweeten it up, and you have this. It's really, really well done. Really, really well done. got two more and then we'll be done guys I know it's a longer video for me these last two were completely my brainchild not that Kirby would have never thought of them or anything but these were two that I personally put together and tested because they were ones that I thought would do really well along with midway treats so this first one is yakety treats which is midway treats and green apple I'm a sucker for green apple. I absolutely love it. A lot of people, when they think of apple, they think of Mac apple, which can be a little bit harsh. And it, some people don't like it. Green apple is sweeter. And I really wanted to blend these two terribly badly. And so I did. This was actually the first thing I tested. When I tested my Midway Treats, I tested it with Yaki, Yakety Yak. It was the very first suggestion I made to Kirby, so I'm really, really happy that this made the final cut because it's one of my favorite things in the sampler. It's so good. That green apple really comes through, but it's really sweetened up by those other notes as well.
And then this last one is Midway's Blackberry Patch. This one, I had also let Kirby know that I was testing Midway Treats with Grandma Mackison's Blackberry Patch because I'm on a Blackberry kick and it did very well for me in my house. I loved it. My family loved it. And so that one also made the final cut and is really good too. Very, very good. It's a sweet blackberry, not a perfumey blackberry. She's got a really good blackberry. So it is, it's extremely well done. So I would go a lot more into detail about the entire sampler, except in, in the interest of time. And I know it was a big order and I know it was a, a big, long video. So that is it. I'll put this in front of the camera. But again, super, super grateful, thankful, excited, all of those emotions about getting involved with my favorite vendor in creating an entire sampler. And I really hope that the people that got it love it. And I really hope some of these scents become, you know, house blends that that show up, you know, every once in a while in, in a loaf or a four pack or a bag or something because there's some, there's some solid sense in this sampler. But that's about it for this video. I, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next restock is based on Andy Warhol and it is scheduled for July and I don't remember the date, I apologize. But, you know, she's got, as always, she's got new scents coming out. She's got old favorites returning. She's got the polls up in the Facebook group right now. You know, what do you wanna see? So. As always, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if I'm gonna buy next month because I bought a lot this month and I'll, I've bought kind of a lot this year from Vintage Chic Sense, so I might, I might hold off in July and wait for some fall scents, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, bye.